Hi Capricorn, welcome to your Week Ahead Taroscope with me, Raphael, from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. Quick note, my readings are for your Sun, Moon and Ascendant sign. So whether you're a Sun, Moon or Rising sign, Cappy, this is for you. And I always advise that you watch all three to get a clearer, more complete picture of how they're going to speak to you. With that said, remember they are general readings. Not everything's going to resonate with everybody and that is just fine. You should always use your own discernment. Before we start, as always, I would like to bless my deck of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance and I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So for your key to the week this week you've got the strength card. The strength card has been very active this week. <clears throat> which tells me that something's going to be happening on the wider world stage over in Europe. Uh, the countries that I would be looking at this week are Italy, parts of southern France and Spain, um, and that general area. I don't know what's going on over there, but I think this week we are going to see something happen on the wider world stage within that sphere of existence. And the reason I say that is because the strength card has been very active. It's come up for like three or four different signs as the key to the week, which tells me that on the wider world world stage we're going to be seeing something happen with spaces that are ruled by that card. Um, with that said, uh, for you personally, uh, this is about your heart of hearts. I think in a lot of ways, this is about you guys being prepared and able to make yourself a little bit vulnerable. This tells me that in some way, shape or form, Capricorn is ready to put themselves on the line. Whether this is, you you know, you make that declaration of love to that person that you're, you know, you're not sure if they want to date you, but all you know is that you're into them and you want them to know. For some of you, this could be sharing a part of your journey in an online space, uh, presenting a new product. This is, in a lot of ways, I kind of feel like this is you saying, you know what, this is something that not a lot of people know about me, or this is something that's not common knowledge that I am ready, willing, and able to share with the world now, which I think is very, very exciting, and I'm really excited to see what it might be. Um, for uh, With that said, if you are a continued subby, you know Rafi loves you, and if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share, and if you should so choose and it resonates, hit that subscribe button for your actions and options. You've got the Sun card. Wow, I don't think I've ever seen the Sun card come up in so many different readings in a single week. Sun card is getting a bit slutty this week. <laughs> Sorry, um, but it really is. Like the sun card is out here for everyone. Everyone got them blessings this week. Love it. So you've got this coupled with the strength card. This is a heavy emphasis on Leo energy. If you have any Leos, Leo ascendant or Leo moon people in your life, connect with them this week because they are going to share something magical with you. It may just be through the connection. It might just be that you have a really great time. It may be that through the process of conversation, you end up sharing something or divulging something that ends up being massive. So this could be really, really awesome. Uh, for you personally, this means that all of your footsteps this week, they're guided. And where it is that you're sharing your heart, you're sharing something that is really close or really near and dear to you with the world, with another person, with the family. Like this is, you know, for some of you, this could be, guys, I've decided to go back to school and do dot, dot, dot. Or you know what, uh, partner, significant other, I've decided that I want to swap my career. It's like whatever it is, it's blessed and it's you are received so well this week. Your path is easy, it's smooth, it's fun. The sun card coupled with the strength card, great for events and invites. So if you've got any parties or any invites that come up for you this week, go ahead. You will have an absolute blast. For your communications and conversations, you've got the page of cups. This is really nice. For those of you that have, you've got declarations of love to make, for those of you that are smitten with somebody, for those of you that have got an idea that you really wanna share with a boss or you know with your employees or maybe even with your clients, this bodes very, very well for you. You are received like you've got the golden touch or the Midas touch this week, right? Um, so I love this and you've got the golden tongue as well. So people are really receiving you well. I will say with a week like this, you're gonna be so up, so high, like the, you're gonna be feeling so good. 
you remember as high up as we go we're going to have to have a little bit of a come down as well so if you find that as all of this starts to wear off you feel a bit like you're just coming back down to a normal level this week is what i would call a peak happiness week right and remember happiness takes uh takes maintenance whereas contentment it just is right so if you it when this starts to subside as it naturally will don't let that be like a, oh my gosh like it's all going away it's not it's just this is high energy this is happy buoyant vibrant fun laughter energy um, and it's loving and kind and warm for those of you that are studying or in the academic field this is a great week because it looks like you're having new insights and these will pre probably be things that come to you intuitively about whatever it is that you're studying um, and this could be an idea that gives you the edge that has it might be an, not necessarily an unpopular one but it might be an unconventional one so when people hear it, they might be a bit like, A, like you're writing your thesis on what? Or, um, you know, you, you, you think that there's a link between what? Like there's something that this week comes to you intuitively and it will be like this really exquisite feeling that you're supposed to follow. It may not make sense to everyone, but it will to you as long as you're following your own true north, which is this, all right? For those of you that are working for somebody else as an employee, this is really nice and I actually think this could be where you are getting a bit more of an easy ride like your boss your superiors they're looking at you and they're like yeah you know what we got a good one here you're a good egg really uh, all Capricorns are come on you, you know how can you say they're not um, I told you the joke about the the parents like when they said is there uh, are there going to be any parents at this party and they say no but there'll be two Capricorns yeah fine go ahead um, <laughs> for those of you that are uh, so self-employed business owners entrepreneurs etc again this intuitive sort of leaning or discovering um of, of not discovering this sort of, yeah this intuitive leaning towards what should come next and it might be out of sequence so whatever comes up like if you've got if you're a capricorn right sun moon or ascendant you've got a plan in place for your business this week you might get an intuitive hit that comes in to say well actually you know i know this was supposed to come next but actually i think we could put this in and it would work much better you're you're stepping into a flow state this week just let it happen right there's there's nothing that needs to be controlled there's nothing that needs to be handled you just have to be present and you just have to express and live from your heart space for those of you that are retired and no longer working I mean, with a week like this, this is potential pregnancy news, this is baby news, this is spending time with loved ones and especially children. It's gonna be a wonderful, wonderful week. I just can't say good, enough good about it. For your love and relations, you've got the moon card, but you've got it right underneath the sun. So this could be, for those of you that are partnered, married or in long-term commitments, your partner could say something to you this week about maybe something that they've been a bit miffed about, maybe something they've been a bit confused about, and when they share it with you it's like oh my gosh this is what's been you know the challenge or the issue why didn't you just say so um for those of you and so we've got a time sequence here as well whatever was happening in pisces season right which was not long ago at this point um is now starting to wrap up especially within the context of a relationship for those of you that are single and looking I really like this because it suggests that you are meeting somebody at night, which tells me that you're either at a restaurant, at a club, um, you know, maybe you're having a party, maybe you're attending a party. You are, you're meeting someone at nighttime whilst you're having a good time. So usually this is parties, clubs, maybe even a barbecue. There's something here where you're meeting someone in what I would probably say is like, over, um, not overnight, uh, open air. Um, so very, very interesting. And then uh, with the moon card as well, for those of you that are thinking about revealing your uh, crush to someone to say, look, you know what, I actually really fancy you. They will be surprised. It's not going to be a no. That moon card isn't saying like, although it's nebulous, it's just that they're going to be like, what? You like me? Um, I thought you hated me <laughs> Uh, as Capricorn is wont to come across, but you know what I mean. For your money and materials, you've got the seven, uh, the seven, the two of swords. 
So you've got this, I would say this, this could potentially be an intuitive understanding of how to make more money. And it may be that whatever you're being told or whatever you're being given sort of the word of, it might be a little bit what I would call um, not taboo, but it might be, again, it might be unconventional or it might be what you, especially as a Capricorn, would consider quite risky. This might, you know, revolve around changing a job really quickly or it might even be that you, you know, you decide to go in and start a, a business and it's like, no, I know in my heart this is going to work and it's kind of like a now or never thing. If this is what your intuition is telling you, especially if it's coming from that heart space, obviously check in with your nearest and dearest but if this is what you're getting then you know you've got to find a way to trust that and honor it when it comes to your physical health and vitality the two of swords is going to be it's usually the eyes and the ocular stuff um with the page of cups this could be healing around or with those kinds of things or issues but it could just as easily be for your upper extra uh, no, no, I'm lying. This could also be your kidneys and or your urinary system. I'm not a doctor. I can't give you medical advice, but if there are anything that comes up this week, that's likely to be where it is. You've got the sun card and the strength card, which, so the strength card speaks to your physical body, but the sun card in your actions and options kind of says that you're blessed. So either which way, I think you'll be fine. For your um, home and environment, You've got this with the moon card. And so I'm gonna say this would be a week to probably keep an eye peeled on the local neighborhood. With that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Take care, have an amazing week. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up.